but I must say your slippers are out of this world. Good, right? You basically uh, came to my show <laughs> and uh, dominated, basically. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and welcome to Coffee with Ola. I'm extremely thrilled and excited to, uh, and also a little bit scared, <laughs> because I have my absolute number one stalker here, Gem Majura of Evanescence. Hello, 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 welcome, hello, welcome, hello, welcome, hello welcome. thank you. Thank I'm so you. happy we actually made this happen. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I had to. There's been a lot of requests for Jen. And, uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. She's my first female guest at this Ooh, show. Oh, I actually. am! Yes. It's, uh, it's a very special moment for me. <laughs> you know how it is, you know, I'm a, I'm a male. I'm and when a there's female. female around, it's like, how do we communicate? How do we communicate? We communicate good, don't yeah, we? I, yeah, that's what is I it? thought. You had, an, had a really rough night. Oh God, everything was planned so well, you know, I planned leaving Gothenburg at 7.30. Okay. Context. Okay, context. Where did you come from? I know. What, what, I know. what happened last week? Um, I've been uh, to our friend Matthias Ia Eklund's free guitar camp mm -hmm. for a week in the wild Swedish woods of nowhere. Um, yes. Yeah, it's pretty much that. You, you've been to the camp. I've been there. Yeah. Um, and it was really, it was an intense guitar playing and uh, counting to seven, nine and a half and everything else. I just have to say something. You sound like Matthias now. I know, I adopt, it's I like know. A, like a problem after a week, I guess. You talk I ad exactly I like adopt him. his way of talking. I try to, I try not to. <laughs> anyway, so I'm not exactly Matthias that. Yet, because, uh, my name is Jen. Is. <laughs> anyway, so um, after that I planned it. Like leaving Gothenburg at 7.35, arriving here half past eight, checking into the hotel around nine, going to bed early. Everything Perfect. was so smooth and so nice. And what happened was that my flight was delayed for four and a half hours. I had to hang out at the airport with a lot of weird people. Mm. Um, I don't know, flight left Gothenburg at around midnight or even later, I don't mm -hmm. remember. I got to the hotel at 2.45 a.m. Yes. No, you arrived at midnight, you tried to check in. And it didn't work? I don't remember. And it didn't work. <laughs> at least what, that's when I called them. They said, oh, the systems are down. Oh, and oh you the, called them last night? No, I did not. I was asleep. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you called, were asleep. I, yeah, I called this. <laughs> I was sleeping real well. Yeah, I've been great. sleeping great. I'm not. But you haven't. But uh, you're still here. It's very yeah. exciting. Uh, I wanted to... Cheers. Oh, cheers. I'm having you, coffee with Ola. Cheers. Come is that, on. Is that thunder? Sorry. So... Gem Majura. How is it? How does it feel to invite your number one stalker to your home? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a little intimidating, but you know what's uh, what's awesome is that you're probably the the greatest guitar player I've had at the show, playing in the biggest band. If you count likes on Facebook, at least, because Evanescence has 21 million likes. I know it's insane, right? Yeah. How does it feel to play in a band of that size? I hate. <laughs> It's intimidating. Yes. Um, it comes with a lot of privileges that you worship and value a lot when you come from normal mid-sized band metal touring. Yes. And I have to say, and I don't say that for the camera, but Evanescence fans are so passionate, so crazy, so lovely, and I've never experienced fans like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been in bands before Evanescence, obviously, duh. Yeah. but. The way Evanescence fans are is very special mm. and it, lovely. It seems that when I check the, the Facebook page that Amy, the singer, she seems very, already very close to her fans. Or like very, she, she, it seems like she's really communicating with them. She's a normal person, just like exactly. you. Yeah, th that's what I say. I mean, a lot of bands they have a disconnect between yeah. the band and their fans. But when you go to her Facebook and you see her, you see her write, you see her making the vlogs and yeah. you know the announcements, and exactly. she just seems like like you and me or my wife over there just making an announcement. Hello. My wife is out there packing all your bullshit, by the way. <laughs> Not sorry. Thank you so much for buying. Oh, thank you so much for buying all this. No, but uh, it seems like it's a very healthy band it is for it being is. that size if you yes. understand what oh I'm okay i get your point it's a, it's a beautiful environment that i'm allowed to work in mm. um we are all humans there is not a single arrogant rock star which i love personally because it's it's just working with friends you know i i like to call touring with evanescence is more like being on a big vacation with friends mm -hmm. 
and uh, that's what it is. There is not a single person where you would go like, ah, that person stings. Yeah. Everybody's cool. There's and, always a guy like that, though. And, nope, not in our camp. Yeah, okay. Just saying, there's always a guy like no, that. No, not girl. in our camp. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's me and I don't oh, know it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> no, but, um, <laughs> so, you joined Evanescence in 2015. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Evanescence hasn't really released any new material, but they released an orchestral album. Yes. Uh, and you've been doing a shit ton of touring for this orchestral oh, yes. album to get together with a real orchestra. Well, we played with the local orchestras. Oh, oh. So we didn't tour with the orchestra. Oh, wow. So we went to Sydney, played with the Sydney Symphonic oh, wow. guys. and That sounds it's even been... more challenging that, that, it is. than I imagined. Because they, they just go to the venue, they rehearse the whole day and then they play the show and then we move on to the next city. Wow. It's been it's been cool. It's been a world tour and we had a lot of great experiences and especially the last run we did, we've been touring for a year and a half, I think, on this album. Um, and the last tour we did in the States together with Lindsey Sterling was amazing. I mean, I don't know, it's it's giant venues and it's it's I, I personally like playing with an orchestra because I used to play in an orchestra when I was a teenager. Really? Okay. I used to play the violin. Ah. Okay. But I suck at it now. Um, and uh, so I, it felt like, oh, it's great to be in that giant group of people because we had 38, 40, close to 40 people on stage. Wow. And it gives a different depth to the music if you play with a live orchestra. Yes. And because we didn't do it like Metallica did it, like rock band plus symphony orchestra, we, yeah. we were sitting inside of the orchestra using all affected, this weird sounds and stuff. It's, def it's definitely a great experience that I wouldn't want to miss in my life. Yeah. But I totally like my my distorted guitars and jumping around and rocking. Right, like because a real we, rock show. Yeah. 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 But it's, it seems like it's, I mean, not every band out there has the opportunity to even go that, to that length to even have an orchestra. I mean, of course. I mean, the, the, just the logistics behind it all just blows my mind. To be I mean, honest. not think about it. You're not touring with the orchestra, so you don't have like 27 buses with orchestra people. I guess, but that, that but would still. make me as the artist even more uh, insecure about coming to this venue. Like, you, you're you're trusting these people. Obviously, they're great musicians because they're playing in an orchestra. Like, does, it, does it make you a great musician only because you play in an orchestra? No, it does not. But usually when you go and have like the uh, the Sydney S Symphony Orchestra playing, obviously it's a good orchestra. It, it is fun. Did you hear that? Yeah, that is fun there, I said. What is wrong with you That's guys here Sweden. in Sweden? No, we're just chilling. It's the gods. Four and those. <laughs> the gods! <laughs> Four and Matthias E. A. Eklund, they're out there. <laughs> and um, yeah, but it's, it's, uh, it's just... I like to have control, but it seems like in that situation you're so much out of control. <laughs> Especially we had As one show, I remember we played the European part of the tour and um, there was this one guy, he had... What's different, I have to start in a different spot. What's different when we play with an orchestra... No, I have to start earlier. So, <laughs> every orchestral musician got a solo spot in the music, the way the arrangements were written. Okay. So, for example, there was this uh, orchestra percussion guy, like, mm. ding, ding, mm. ding. And there's literally nothing going on except like a synth drone underneath, like, okay. and then this guy has to hit like, ding, 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 ding. Like That's, the triangle guy. Well, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, one triangle, so next what? one, next That's one. That's how you're show <laughs> showing it. Yeah, okay, but gotcha. still, it's. It's a lot of pressure mm. because usually these musicians are sight reading and they are used to be the background music. Yes. But with us, they were not. They yeah. were like on spot, like, yes. hey, this is your solo part. Yes. And it was interesting. Mm. Did you ever play a mistake? It was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Just wondering because in that environment, I think you would probably hear a mistake pretty good. It was interesting. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Great. Evanescence, is there another album coming? Yes. There you go. You heard it here. Not per maybe not first, but you heard it here. Heard did, it here. Did, did you did you uh, have you written anything for it or? Yes. You heard it here. And you showed me the mansion that you rented to write oh that shit. Oh my god. Shit. 
They, well, basically, they rented a castle <laughs> in Canada Amy because did. that because that makes sense, and uh, <laughs> they they write their music. And I saw this picture of the guitar player just laying on the couch while they were playing. Tim, I love you. That's <laughs> what what is that even? That's not how it works today. That's no, why? I was just blown away that that, that bands actually play together. <laughs> why? <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just saying like in the normal day. I mean we we don't even rehearse in a way. I mean we don't? when I when I write music, I write on my own behalf here by this desk, and then we meet up and then, uh, it, it was just nice to see because it's uh, it's my picture of how a band actually should write music. Da, 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 da. But I don't think it's like that with the majority of bands. I don't, I don't know about the other bands. I don't but know either. I, I'm just guessing. I'm just saying what my 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 feeling that bands are not doing it anymore. I, I don't because know. Because every, everyone's relying on uh, MIDI drums and, you know, sitting and oh, writing drums. MIDI drums. Oh, you have to edit every f*** <laughs> that I say, right? No, no, no. Not at all. Demonetize. No, Luis has to do it. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. it's still funny. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so, but you also have your own uh, solo career going on. Or, or you least uh, <laughs> a solo album, at least. Yes, I have two solo albums, actually. Oh. Um, the first one I released, and it was kind of like a compromise of how I thought I would like to sound mm -hmm. and how I thought people would like me to sound. Okay. You know, I was how like, kind of, out? it's okay, <laughs> but uh, the second album, Insanity, is yes. literally, it's literally my, my heart, my soul, my heart, my flesh, my blood, my everything. Damn. <laughs> Thunder. Um, Usually, you know how you usually have that one not sweet spot on the album where you go like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. could have done better. Yes, of course. Yes, everybody knows that, but yeah. I don't have that spot on my album. Oh, nice. Because I really put out the album exactly the way I wanted it, from artwork to the production to the sound to the to the songwriting to the dynamics to everything. It's it's my heart, and I'm really really proud of it. I released it 2000 uh, November 2017. Mm -hmm. I think 10 days after uh, Synthesis got released, our latest Evanescence album. And uh, yeah, I did a crowdfunder for that. Nice. Um, because I didn't want to tie myself to a label or anything, you yes. know. It's, I think time, times for labels are sort of over. Oh, it's been, um, it's been for a while. Yeah, and in terms of you can have direct, you do that. I mean, you have direct contact to your members. Which I am not. I'm not a member. You're a wamber. I'm you, a could a wamber. Wamber. you could be a wamber. You could be a wamber. Just have to pay five bucks a month. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, no. but you have direct. You have the possibility to contact your friends, uh, fans directly, yes. which is awesome. Yeah. And I don't think that a label should interfere with your personal artist taste of music. No. You know, like it's 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 possible to do it by yourself nowadays. Yes, it is. And I had to, I had a friend of mine help me with my uh, crowdfunder and he was like, hey Jen, we have to put like a, like a, like a goal. You want to reach what amount of right. money? Gotcha. And I said, oh, three K? Yeah, three grand. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Yeah. And uh, he was like, no, come on, let's go six or eight K. Yeah. And I felt bad. I was yeah. like, this is too much to ask. Yeah. We hit eight grand. Oh, Within 24 awesome. hours. Awesome. The thunder and it's coming. I, yeah. Always at the That's the record labels out there. Impact <laughs> words. <laughs> and uh, after, I think it, I, I don't know how long my crowdfunder was, like two months or something. Yeah. In the end, I got almost 15, 16 grand out of that. Awesome. That That's opened great. up a lot of more possibilities for yes. me. So I hired a PR company, CMM. Mm -hmm. And I also put a lot of more effort into the booklet and the the style and everything. And, right. And I love that. I, I'm I'm really happy. And I feel by now I don't feel like I've begged for money or anything. I feel yeah. like I've created this album together with a lot of friends yes. all over the world. Yeah. And this is an amazing feeling. Yeah. You no. know that feeling. Your members are from all over the well, world. Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, it's. Like we talked about earlier, why would you need a record company being in the middle between yeah. you and your fans? It doesn't make any sense nowadays. Uh, I, I listened to the album earlier today and uh, it's very, very, very playful. Thank you. Like it, it, I can hear it's like 
oh shit, she actually means this. Yes. Like it, it's like, it, <laughs> and the thing is, it, you does. also you also sing on the album. Yes, I'm a uh, singer as well. I did I, all the arrangements, all the the songwriting, all the mixing, all the producing. And it does sound absolutely incredible. Like I, it Thank really you. sounds good, I must say. And uh, it was just, just really happily. I didn't know what expectations I had, but I was just really happy listening to it. What did you expect? Because people know. see me as like a metal guitar player. I'm not. I'm not sure. I might have expected something in lines of what you are doing on a YouTube channel, for instance, uh, which is, I guess, vlogs. Doesn't make sense, but like covers and and uh, you, That's, and some you just of... watch that Gemma Dura play stuff. But yes, I do exactly. a minute of a song. No, I'm not, that's the thing nowadays. It's like see, that's you, the you difference. Can, I can, watch all your videos, like a stalker should. But you know, when I listen to a instrumental album by someone nowadays, you know, it's. I think that back in the day, I would expect it to be another, you know, Steve I album by anyone. Me. No. <laughs> and the instrumental album, but you, you know what I mean. But nowadays, I mean, everyone does their own thing. Yeah. And I heard that on your album. It's like, wow, shit. It's like, I did not expect that, but that was so funny to hear. And like, it's so um, invigorating to hear. Thank like, you. Like, it's, this is alive. That's what I feel. But honestly, I had the same feeling when I listened to your album. Oh, you're making I, me blush. Okay, let's make Ola blush. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I, I, I was like, okay, he's, he's that <laughs> metal guitar player. Yeah. And I expected a metal album mm. first, but then when I I started listening to it and it, it got me the feeling of, have you ever played the Extremist from Joe Satriani? That feeling when you yes. hit the album and start playing it, mm. it's like whoa, that world comes yep. at you like that yes. positive, great big world. I had the same feeling when I started listening to your album. Oh, thank you. So and much. I absolutely love that. How do you pronounce it? Cerber Cerberus. Cer yeah. Cerberus. Cerberus. Yeah. Servers. Servers. I like that song a lot and okay. also that YouTube song. That YouTube I enjoy song. that one as well. Okay. And Thank pizza you. wise, it's great musical um, content Music. with a lot of different sides of you. And I think that's awesome because we should not, us artists, should not limit us to just be that metal guitar player yes. or that reggae player yes. or whatever style. Because uh, I listen to so much music. Yeah. And why should I limit myself when it comes to writing music? Yes. I, when I released the album, I was very, I, I wouldn't say worried, but I was a little bit afraid about how people would react to it not being a total metal album. Because, I mean, I do the chugging and, you know, all that comes with metal. And uh, how did you feel when you released your album? Was, like, was it like, did, I mean, this is really you. <laughs> opening yep. yourself up to, here, it's like here, a this soul like, strip here it is, you yeah. just take off your shirt. Yep. There they, there yep. they are. Like, <laughs> it is, it is, it is just the pure core of us, like yes. you with your solo album, me with Insanity. I was sure everybody's going to hate the album. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I really thought everybody's going to hate it because it's so diverse, so out of control, so not one-sided. Yeah. Uh, but apparently it turned out that people loved it. And from all the reviews and all the reactions, I think there were two people um, of some online magazine or something. They just didn't understand. Yeah. They were like, this is like a roller coaster of music. This doesn't do anything for me. I yeah. don't understand. And I'm like, okay, well, you don't understand. Then go fuck up and die. I mean, you, I mean, you can't please everyone. Exactly. Especially not nowadays. Exactly. And uh, it's... Uh, do, do you feel that with uh, having your own YouTube, you know, do you get a lot of shit for being on YouTube? Obviously, I'm just talking about the elephant in the room. You are, in fact, female in this godforsaken world of Mel. And just to get it out of the way and ask it as... as, as Can I have some a, more coffee? <laughs> as, no, not today. I decide. But my coffee is empty. Is it? It's called Louise, coffee with Ola. Can you make more coffee? Sorry, my wife just got degraded to become a secretary. <laughs> but that, that was Jen's fault. No, uh, I'm going to ask this in the most polite way that I can uh, without uh, taking any, um, just taking any focus off your uh, sandals <laughs> there. But, I mean, in a male community, because I think you're still, you're sort of in the male community, right? Sort of. In the guitarist you, you, male community. I mean, I have assholes all the time on my YouTube channel. But I could never. I have assholes. 
You don't have assholes? Mm -mm. Oh, shit, okay. Um, See ya, thank you so much for coming with Ola. <laughs> no, but how is it being uh, a female, a female guitar bad. player in a male world? I, I know, but the thing is that I actually have female viewers, up and coming guitar players, that I want to, you know, I want more women subscribers. I've said this many times. I'm a male, I can never grasp how a female would be feeling a guitar player in this world because I'm not a female. Like, what are, what's, what's wrong with, with the male in this community? Like, what, what, what's our problem? <laughs> why, why can't we... I don't know, I'm a female, I don't know. I don't know how it feels to have balls, so... Do, do you feel that, like, what is, what is challenging and what is easy for you as a female guitar player? Good question. Um, I think the most challenging thing is to make people listen mm. to what you play. Mm. Um, this might sound stupid, but I played a show back in like 800 years ago and I got off stage and a, and a guitar buddy of mine, he was watching, listening to the show and he, he was like, Jen, you look great. Mm. And I said, thank you. But what I meant was like, <laughs> off. Like, yeah. tell me I played great. Yes. I want to, I want to. You're a musician. Yes, and I want to. I want people to listen to my music or my singing or my yeah. not the drumming. Uh, it's okay if they just watch, but Agreed. but it's about the that people are mostly when you're a female, first start watching your makeup and styles and yes. I don't give a shit about stuff like that. No. So that's probably the most challenging thing. Just to um, overcome that boundary. Also, that also to um, not have taking advantage of being a female. A lot of guys think it's an advantage, like people right. would like your stuff better because yes. you're a female, people would give you shit for free because you're a female. No, it's not. It's because I'm a guitar player and I'm a musician. I'm getting really emotional here right now. Yeah, but that's what Ooh. I want. Because, I, you know, I, I think it's very important for, for female guitar players or up and coming female guitar players to, you know, not be afraid of getting yeah. in there and getting out there and play more oh, yeah. music. And it, it, it's actually in a survey or like, a, I think it was a Fender survey saying that that 50% of all new yep. uh, guitar players are female. Female, yes. And that's amazing. And I would never expect that. But and look at it. I mean, there's been, I said that before, there's Lita Ford and yeah. Jennifer Batten mm -hmm. and Joe and Jed, those really great, cool players and musicians who path the way for guys like, and I'm going to mention everybody, Nita Strauss, mm. Courtney Cox, mm. Nilly Brosh, Gretchen Men, and the, that tiny little puddle, it's not even a pond, it's a puddle yeah. of female electric touring guitar players. Mm. We are very aware of each other and yeah. the beauty about this is that we support each other. Of course. I see a lot of elbow fights, you know, like, I'm jealous, I want that gig, why did you get that gig? Mm. When it comes to the sausage party metal community yes. right but actually we females support each other yes and that is a beautiful thing because I think nowadays it's the time is over for competition and I'm better than you and you suck and I'm great yes I think it's it's wasting time you know oh, yeah. we should all support each other it's yeah. it's it's about support and, and helping each other not fighting against yeah. each other that's what we said in the car there it's like yeah. you know if it, if you're doing well everyone else is doing well yeah so it's, uh, but yeah, I totally agree. I think, I think the problem that a lot of guys have uh, is like, it's basically competition. Like they, they see someone that's badass and you know, in control. It's faster. Uh, faster, that's a problem. I have problems with people like that that are playing <laughs> faster than me. No, but I mean, it's just like, it's hard to explain, but it's uh, without sounding like an asshole, but basically guys have a very competitive way of thinking True. in general and I don't think that's the, the I don't female to have that in a way no. I mean it's more like and that's a problem for guys man I, I honestly hey Nita girl you can shred I can shred like you do that's awesome the coffee. And I think that's amazing that's what you oh. want more coffee here's the coffee oh, woman. yeah thank you coffee woman which is also my wife <laughs> this is amazing coffee woman you know, ah. tuck. Tuck, coffee woman tuck, tuck, Louise, tuck. Tuck. Who hard did it? Yeah, my bro. Oh. Oh, shit, that, that threw me off. Like, <laughs> <I can't. laughs> 
trying yeah, to speak I'm, Swedish. I'm trying to learn a little bit of Swedish. Yeah. Ooh, uh, can I have the uh, Swedish word of the day? Yes, you may. Wait, Swedish word of the day. Oh, grisfitta. Grisfitta. Oh, that's a good one, actually. Not too bad. <laughs> it's basically pigs. Cool. Yeah, good. That was it. Swedish word, eh? That's a good clap. But what guitars do you play? I play Ibanez guitars. Okay, why do you play Ibanez guitars and not solar guitars? Because. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. I I've been bugging <laughs> Jan's ass about playing solar guitars for a good while, but she's been gracefully declining my offer. And it's okay. I'm just I'm just giving her a hard time. I'm sorry. It's you're okay. It's okay. You're playing Ibanez guitars. I can play a solo guitar right now because I'm on your channel. Yes, yes. But you can do it later. It's no problem. Tell me about your Ibanez guitars and I'll throw up a picture here. Well, they have six strings or seven strings. Yes. Um, floral? The the, the what? blue one. You had the blue oh, yeah, one. Yeah, I floral. love it. That's, that's my nice that's one. my favorite guitar. Um, it's of course, it's Steve Vai. Oh, did you see that Steve Vai shared my, my, my video? Oh my God. Oh, he did back. On, yeah, on I know. On the 2nd of August, yes. uh, no, 2nd of April. And I thought it was a joke. I was about to go to bed. So uh, hanging out on the couch, like, let's check yeah. my Instagram once more. Steve Vai himself has mentioned you in a comment. And I'm like, what? Yeah, that's pretty cool right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. I tell you, this close to a heart attack. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, and I, I did a cover of the song Pig. Oh, yeah. Gritz a gritz fitta. Fitta. Yeah, it's basically like pig's <laughs> Oh. Of the, of the album Sex and Religion. And I love that song and yeah. uh, it took me a, a couple of hours to play mm. it. It was fun. All right. Why am I talking about this? Uh, like on your guitars, oh. because sometimes, I think you mentioned to me that you had seven guitars on tour. Like, what are, is it just different tunings or it's just like really different tunings? So, okay, what's, well, okay, tell me all the tunings that you have. Okay. Or is that something that you... To be honest, I forgot about the tunings a little bit because I'm now using the Line 6 Helix. Ah, okay. And it's had, I, I call it the purple piano. Mm. It's a simple pitch. Mm. And it works really great. It sounds better than with the big... <laughs> and yeah. the other accent. <laughs> yeah. And I'm really happy with that because it limits, it limits the amount of guitars that I have to take on the road. Yeah. But still, I have like six guitars. In the beginning, it was 11. I think 11 on the first Shit. tour. It's, yeah, you know, I mean, you have the standard, then you have a, a standard in E flat, then you have a standard in D, then you have right. the drop tuning, the drop tuning in C sharp, the drop tuning in C, then you have yeah, the baritones, yeah. then you have the seven string. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's just a lot of guitars. Yeah. And in the beginning, I wanted to, I, I wanted to learn the songs in a musical way, like, hey, first fret, I'm playing on a seven string. This is a C chord. Yeah. But after a while, I realized with that many tunings, you cannot. This no. is impossible for one brain to... To comprehend. It's just not. Sometimes you just need an open yeah. chord. <laughs> and just to, just to rest on like, okay, there it is. Nice. And I just, I just went to becoming a, a fret guitar player. This yeah. is like three, five, seven, yeah. you know? And it's fine. It's, it's the Helix. Line 6 Helix helps a lot. Mm. I limited my guitars from 11 down to 3, oh, nice. mainly 3. So I've got one drop D guitar, which I use the simple pitch for, for drop C sharp, mm. drop C, whatever. Yeah. This little like counter, it makes it makes sounds. It's my uh, subscriber count. I know that, I'm your stalker, but it makes sounds each time Of course, time somebody... it's cash. Every time someone's oh. uh, subscribing, it's cash sound. I'm very <laughs> impressed being here. This is awesome. I mean, you did the most uncool thing like inviting your stalker to your home well i think it's important to know your enemy so <laughs> that's why i brought you here <laughs> no uh, but you have yes. a really cool not announcement but uh mm. you're playing something really cool right yes. now on, uh, amp wise it is an announcement it's not oh, it is an while we Shit. yeah come on all announcing no it's jen <laughs> announcing sorry <laughs> What are you now saying? While, while we are talking right now, it's still not official, but when you release the video, it will be official. Yes. Because I am... Ah, this is an emotional moment. I'll zoom in on your face. After 17 years of playing Angle Ems, I'm switching to a new company. I will leave Angle Ems and I am from today on joining the Gibson, family... Gibson, play authentic! From today Sorry. on, <laughs> I'll join the company Synergy Amps. Right. Um, I found out about them because they have these 
preamp modules. Yes. I mean, back in the days, Randall literally yes. started it. And now I think Friedman bought it, I don't know. But then Synergy started this and they have a couple of endorsees. And there was this one underground unknown guitar player called Steve Vai, mm, <laughs> who's guy. also using Synergy amps mm. now. Um, and I think it's the best step between, like make your path between the modern modulating and the old school heavy carrying shit yes. kind of sides. Mm. Um, plus you can literally combine your, your dream amp. So what I did for, for my Evanescence rig, I tried out all the different modules and I thought I would go with Dietzel because Dietzel okay. is, sounds pretty close to yeah. Engel amps, yeah. right? So I'm like, ah, it's gotta be Dietzel. No, it's not. Mm. Um, I found out the Soldano was nice, but it was a little bit too clean. I don't know, not not clean and not saturated, and clean, probably. but it's it's like the balls were missing. Yeah, it's been it's it's a classic, the Soldano, yeah. but but more it needs like help. bluesy it needs rock. Help. It needs help, just so, like a rectifier. It needs a little bit of help. I ended up seriously with a heavy brown eye of Friedman. Mm. Amazing. So I can play. I've got a. I've got this rack version. It's like a 50/50. I can put two preamps mm. uh, yeah. modules there, and for the heavy section, I'm going to have the Friedman Heavy Brown Eye, mm. which is really it's it's like mighty balls, big sound. Mighty balls. I like the description. <laughs> mighty balls, big sound. Uh, mighty muddy balls was what I was hearing. <laughs> mighty balls. Okay. No, okay. Mighty uh, mighty balls. Yeah, muddy balls doesn't make any sense. And the second preamp was... Okay, uh, and my clean channel <laughs> yes. is going to be, because there are two companies not cooperating with Synergy Amps, because yeah. they don't have to, because they're big enough. Yeah. Um, my second uh, preamp module that I use for the clean and the crunch channel is going to be a sort of Fender Twin yeah. Reverb, yeah, the B-Man of Synergy. And just makes imagine sense. you can have like a, the creamy, beautiful, clean sounds, yeah. and also get that heavy, big sound. Yes. It's amazing. I love it. So do you it. have the, the 50 watt head or the rack or um, what? My guitar tech. I love you, Mark. Ooh, again. Uh, it's not. Yeah, it's it, so it cool. happens. I like it. Yeah. Um, my guitar tech, Mark, is building me a rack right now. Mm. So uh, I connect the, I still use the Helix. I don't use the amp simulations from the Helix. Okay. I still use a real amp. Yeah. Um, and we connect it with the four cable method. Yes, of course. So I'm, my guitar tech is building me a rack right now mm. with two Helix rack versions and uh, the two 50-50 mm. okay, cool. Synergy amps. And do you actually use cabinets on stage? Or? This, yes, this oh, is exciting. Shit. This is the first time I talk about Synergy amps. That's awesome. Oh and and it's, it's nice to hear that you're actually using cabinets as yes, well because absolutely. otherwise all the bands goes the other route and go yeah. direct. And it's worse, like it's, it's bad enough that I have to play through in-ears. Yeah. Do, do you use in-ears? I, I started to play, but I still have the cabinet. You need the I air, need, right? Oh, I, 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 I need the uh, energy. Yeah. And the Otherwise I can't play. Right? Yeah. yeah. It, it's uh, for guitar players. I think in-ear is really a, a tough deal. Yeah. I, I don't really like it, but no. we have to do it. Yeah. But as a, as a vocalist, mm. I love in-ear because yeah. it really saves your vocal cords from oh, yeah. dying. Yeah. But as a guitar player, I still, I, I want to have that feeling when I go back to my amp to the caps, I yeah. want to hear that I, I always thought of it like, okay, with in-ear, I play better. Because of I hear course. myself so much better. But you play but like a studio guitar player then. No, sort of, but yeah. I don't have as much fun. Because and the punch I think is in missing. the end of the day, if people see that I have more fun, that's better. Even yeah. if I, my guitar playing sucks. But <laughs> Your I, guitar playing doesn't suck. Yeah, but uh, live, you, you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> but I mean, th that's at least what I think. I mean, it's nice to hear that you're using 4x12s because I mean, everyone's trying to compromise their rigs and you know, going with the Oh, trust me, our production manager wants to compromise everything. Oh, he does. But okay. I'm like, I, I want my cabs, I want... Come on, it's rock and roll. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And if you can, if you can be lucky enough to be able to use cabs on tour, mm. why not? Yeah. Right? For sure. So I, I like that feeling of when you move back and you still feel, even though you have your sound in your in ears, but you feel that loudness, that volume. Mm. What did you just do? Right, nothing. Another announcement, Old England. Jem is about to play solo guitars. It's a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> you had one request before you got here, and that is that you wanted to play a Miku Pell. So I brought the Miku Pell. Uh, have you ever tried it before? No. Just, just heard it. Okay. Okay, this is going to be exciting. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
Beautiful. But you know what's more nice? <laughs> it's completely unpredictable. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then the, you can't reason with it. You just, you just take it in. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Don't, don't try to win over it. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like shit. The latency is horrible. No, no, no. It's perfect. <laughs> Just imagine you eat some but ramen play, uh, right now. Wake me up inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Very close, I must say. Awesome. That's Gemma Jura playing the Miku Pell right there. And solar guitars. And solar guitars. Soon to be announcing uh, solar guitars endorsement. <laughs> just uh, a couple weeks from now. No, no she's, uh, she's with Ibanez. I'm not going to touch that. I'm just giving her a hard time. Because, I'll, I, that's, because that's I'm a stalker. Exactly. So, Jen, thank you so Wait, much. Wait, no, no, no. I have a present for you. Oh shit. Of course, I, I, I had hate to... when stalkers have presents. It's yeah, the worst. It's good, right? It's usually some, like a, <clears throat> a, a, an old toenail. No, first a of all. A lock of hair. Look, first of all, I have <laughs> this. Um, I didn't intend to bring you something for all our tasting shit, oh. but I thought this was so nice. And it's from Canada and it says. It's Maynard's. Swedish berries. Oh. So I oh, thought you, you so might much. enjoy Swedish berries. Oh, f uh, thank you. Right? So this that, is the nice part of the present. That, that is a very Swedish. Yeah. Looks like it. It's good, right? Thank you so much. You're welcome. And now here comes the thing. Oh, shit. So as your number one stalker and having you moving into the new house, I thought you need something that shines over you. Oh, I thought you were supposed to say that you already moved into the house. <laughs> <Okay>. Like <laughs> a, the stalker you are. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, you need something that presents my your presence yeah. as a stalker in Presents the house? my presence as a stalker in your life, right? Oh, shit. So I thought about this bringing you this. What the f*** <laughs> is that? <laughs> is this that is you? for you. This is a candle you can light up and what? think. But that's not you. It is. Is it? Come on, it's my universe. Seven string. <laughs> it's, it's me. So wow. this is for your new wow, house now. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> Great gift. Now I gotta say. <laughs> now I'm gonna keep this at my nightstand. It's mm. perfect. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna put it down here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jen, thank you so much for thank being you. here. It's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm so happy right now. Thank you so much. I'm happy too. Okay. Hopefully we'll get to do this another time. In maybe like a year or so. Absolutely. Let's see how uh, how much of a stock you are by then. Oh, wait for it. You haven't seen it. Awesome. Yet. Great. Thank you so much. Bye.